like well South Africans felt like I wasn't South African enough because of my name and um, it was really sad to see it was a very horrible experience and I wouldn't wish it on anybody because I have lived there for 23 years and it's it's heartbreaking to see that I wasn't welcomed and accepted um, yeah So guys, welcome back to the WSXM. For those who don't know, my name is Teflon. Thanks for watching. So, if you remember, um, the big controversy with Chidami, the Miss South African contestant that got um, she withdrew from the competition. Um, but she was she she got a lot of hate from South Africans, from Black South Africans, saying she's not South African enough to be in the South African competition, and she got a lot of hate. I did a video on it, defending her. I received a lot of hate under my comment section when I did that video. And to show you the, the extent of these people fighting against their own kind, their own, um, um, their own, um, their own people, basically. And this is why they said that we are some of some Africans are still have they still have a colonized mindset. But let me show you a video where she actually won the Miss Nigeria competition because she was she withdrew from the Miss South Africa, and her father's half her father's Nigerian, so she's half Nigerian. So she withdrew from the competition and then to join. She was invited to come to join, take part in the Miss Nigeria Universe competition. She won. I'm going to see the picture, the video of it when she she won the competition. Unfortunately, I cannot play the audio because they have copyright issues with it. So I'm going to play the visual and I'm going to um write it over for you. So that's when she won. They call her name Miss Chadame. Um, and she now she's going to re receive the crown. For the Miss Universe and the, and the sash as well, you see, there they place him the sash and Miss Chidame as the, the new Miss Universe Nigeria. And she will take part in the Miss Universe competition in Poland, I think it's gonna be, or is it Mexico? Oh, well, this country, I don't know exactly which we're gonna take part. That's when she's received, received the crown as well, although it fell off hilariously. But none of the fact, they're gonna replace it on her head again. So there she is, Miss Universe Nigeria. Chidame, the one of the female that received the most hate and vitriol from her own kind. Our own people gave um this young lady, this young lady as less than. You see, Julius Malema said this recently in a speech that we were taught to hate anything that looked like us, which is, this is proven. Anyway, she did an interview. I'm going to play a part of the interview and we're gonna watch it together and then uh, we're gonna hear her thoughts on what happened to her while she was in South Africa and while um, let's just listen to it and then we're gonna continue the video. It all started because of my name. People were not happy that my name is Chidima and I am representing South Africa. So that is where it actually really started. And you know, people felt like well South Africans felt like I wasn't South African enough because of my name. And um it was really sad to see. It was a very horrible experience and I wouldn't wish it on anybody because I have lived there for 23 years. And it's, it's heartbreaking to see that I wasn't welcomed and accepted. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, you are welcome here. But you're welcome you're here. <laughs> and you're the queen. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. I just didn't want to talk about it, but yeah, yeah it, it, it's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. And um, um, there were certain things that happened behind the scene that actually um, made me withdraw. And it was so heartbreaking to see that I had to withdraw close to the finale. And um, But a decision had to be made. And um, it really hit social media as well. Yeah. And um, there was some statements that came out from home affairs with regards to my mom's um id as well and that is still a legal matter so i'm not going to comment on that but what i do know is that i was born in south africa and i am a south african and i'm still proudly nigerian as well and i was really excited to get an invitation from silverbird to represent nigeria in Miss universe nigeria um to see that they saw that potential and the love that I've received, it has been exceptional, not only from the group, from the organization, from the girls, but from Nigeria as well and all over the world. And that's my whole journey. So, you see what that young lady went through. And she, you can see the hurt 
and the, the, the how it, it, it hurt her to, the, to her core to be rejected by her own people. Anyway, good news, she's now Miss Universe Nigeria, and she won, so boo-hoo to the South, South Africans who um, didn't, um, rejected her. And what irks me the most, and you what I learned, um, irks. Anyway, what irks me the most is the fact that Miss South Africa, Miss Universe South Africa, was a white European French woman, Miss, uh, Mia Leroux, something like that. She's accepted as South African, a European white with a French name, but they have an issue with a South African, half Nigerian, half South African. No, oh, her, name, her name is not South African enough. But a white woman name is, is South African enough. And I will always say this. Um, Helen Zeely, the DA party, um, one of the DA party's strong leaders, and one of the most powerful women in South Africa at the moment. She, both her parents, is German. She's white. She's a German. But yet, South African accepted her with open arms. They voted for her to get in power. So anyway, I don't want to go down that road. Anyway, let's back to Chidame. So, big ups to Miss um, Chidame for winning the Miss, the Miss Universe Nigeria. And I hope she goes on to win the Miss Universe title. I'm, I'm going to say this is a hope because there's other countries. My country is going to be in the Miss Jamaica. So I'm, go, I'm going to be rooting for her. So how can, my hope is that maybe Miss Chidame can reach like the top five or sorry, top ten. It will be an accomplishment, but I'm gonna always root for Jamaica because Jamaica, Jamaica is my country. So I will root for my queens, and then if anything, I will root for an African queen, an African queen. If any, if all, if all come, if all things fail, yeah, then I'll switch another African. Queen. By the way, and there's other women that that um was in the comments. Let me show you a picture of them. Some videos are a picture of the the, the two the runner ups. Um, that says this young lady here. Um. She won the Miss, um, I forget the name, the picture now. But she's going to represent um, South Africa, Nigeria in our next competition soon. And then the next the lady who got the second runner up, her, she, again, beautiful young lady. Africa have so many beautiful women, black women of all shape, size, and color. So, big ups again, big ups to Miss Nigeria, Miss Chidame for winning the competition and to overcome that vitriol she received from her own people. I'll, I'll, most of our, some of our leaders said this. Um, Professor P.L.O. Lumumba spoke of hate of the, from Africans to other Africans. Judas Maloma speak of it. Miss, um, ah, what's her name? The former ambassador to ambassador, the former African ambassador, to the US. I forget her name. Doc, she, she, she's a doctor. Oh, what's her name again? I forget her name. But anyway, we have a few leaders who actually speak of this. They self hate. And when they let in a few educated blacks in the white world, they reject their own people and do everything in their power against their own race to please their masters. These colonized minds and these puppet, puppeteers, puppets doing, their, doing what they puppet. Puppeteers. Uh, puppeteers, yeah, you know what I mean, puppets. Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section of Miss Chidame overcoming all the hate and vitriol to become Miss Nigeria's universe and continuing on to represent Nigeria on the global level. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Boom.